Hi everyone, I'm going to make an art journal page and it's like two th uh, things that I combined together. I was sitting on this idea uh, before my trip and it was like a few minutes before we are uh, going out to the airport and I had this idea and I was just sitting on it and it's like OCD itching to do it so I'm going to make it here on a, this art journal but you can do it on canvas also I'll show you um, after uh, this I'll show you all the options you can play with it and I'm not uh, gessoing this page I'm starting by a uh, making a textured background I'm going to use just um, white glue and I've got here paper towels that I'm crunching so uh, they will be more uh, wrinkled and let's see uh, uh, for this technique you do need a lot of texture in the background so uh, it will be interesting and I'm just putting a uh, glue down on my page my voice is still a little bit raspy <laughs> I hope it will uh, last until uh, I finish a uh, recording so I'm not uh, uh, I'm using the two plies of this I'm not separating it and I'm thinking I'm going to tear it a little bit and add more to the texture and in a minute I'm going to flatten everything down with more uh, glue on top of it I just really want a lot of texture in my background but you don't have to tear it you can uh, take the uh, paper towel and put it down as is I need more glue here so my uh, um, the idea that I had was to use a uh, q-tips and no I'm not going to paint with them <laughs> not my thing although I do know there are lots and lots of uh, uh, videos out there with uh, painting with q-tips I'm going to do some create something with them and it's a cheap uh, basically it's a cheap material material that I can pick up at my cheap store so it's nice to play with it and here we go now uh, just another coat just to flatten everything out all the wrinkles and all the loose ends here we go and use the flat of the brush so you don't drag every anything or tear anything just smooth it out it would uh, probably be easier uh, if you separate the two uh, plies of the paper towel but I wanted it as I said really really texturized now you don't have to use um, paper towel you can use the white uh, layers from that you remove from your paper napkins you can use a if you have a wallpaper samples that has have texture you can take a stencil and give your background a lot of uh, texture with a um, modeling paste or wall compound you can even take just gesso and make a put it down with heavily on your page and mark on it 
and then you will have texture so options are endless i just wanted this kind of uh, texture in my background so this needs to uh, to dry uh, but for yeah i think before i'm uh, continuing it needs to dry uh, but i want to show you the other options i've made them on uh, i picked this little canvases uh, again from the cheap store it's not really a canvas this is some synthetic uh, stuff but it was very cheap so i didn't care i knew i'm going to glue on top of it and that's what i've done here is the things that i'm going to show you how to create with the q-tips now here i've got a paper napkin underneath this is the texture that you get here is paper towel and that the texture that you get and here we've got some uh, I've got in the background a sample from a wallpaper so options are endless and I will show you how to create this stuff and how to create this uh, effect on top so I'm going to wait for this to dry before I continue with the q-tips and I'll be back I'm back so mostly dry and I trimmed at the edges for the excess and now I'm going to uh, do this I don't know what to call it, dandelion I don't know uh, with q-tips now I've got the ones with this wooden uh, handle I haven't tried it with the plastic one so I don't know how I, if it will work and I'm taking my uh, silicone glue this is from the cheap store and it's a local brand and if you are looking for silicone glue uh, look for you so uh, that's the best I can do for you uh, I'm using this you can also use a glue gun this is just what I like to work with and I'm putting down a, almost like a circle on my page where I'm going to start layering uh, the q-tips and I've just taken a cutter and I'm starting with the big pieces so I'm each one I'm taking apart in the middle like so placing and starting to make this shape as you can see I've already cut several so it won't take a lot of time but I do need more so go I'm not measuring I'm just a uh, cutting them I'm aiming for some kind of a circle so now I've I'm uh, laying the longer pieces and they are the base for my dandelion and I want it larger so I'm bringing them a little bit towards the outside of the circle there we go now once I've got this, uh, the larger circle, I'm uh, trimming them uh, a little uh, shorter and I'm going to use more of, of the glue just to make sure everything will be uh, stuck down. Uh, if you've got a uh, uh, gel medium it also a uh, good for uh, putting down this stuff and I need to trim this one 
gel medium is good uh, you can do it with a glue gun I just if I can avoid the glue gun that's what I'm doing so I'm going uh, in between the large pieces and I'm basically now uh, putting down more pieces but in a smaller circle so basically I'm doing another circle but it's smaller so I'm layering my pieces and if you need you trim it so it would fit and with the ones that I showed you on the little canvas I have made like three layers for each uh, dandelion here we go need to trim more pieces there is no uh, exact measures just I'm just putting down wherever I think it needs to be and now I'm going to put more of the glue again I want to make sure everything will be in place and won't move and this is the base for my third layer and here I'm going to trim them even a uh, shorter and start building like the th third circle This one is too long and it's in my way so I'm picking it up and I'll just shorten it oopsie stay in place so we just layering this a uh, pieces until you reach uh, the shape that you like so I'm going to uh, continue uh, maybe this is enough now for the stem uh, of this uh, dandelion uh, on the canvases I just picked a um, a 3d paint I'll show you what I'm talking about because each one is calling it a different uh, uh, name this is a 3d paint I know it also as tulip and fabric paint and puff paint so but I'm this time for the stem I'm going to use a glue gun because it uh, dries faster and just use whatever you have and what is easier for you everything is going to get covered with gesso so it doesn't matter the um, the color of this or anything else that you are uh, that you want to put here I've got something someone at the door I'll be back I'm back so I've got this uh, dandelion I'm going to take uh, the glue gun and make a stem for it like so and also here just making some kind of circle in the middle and I think I'm going over the stem again just to make it more thick or more so it will show on all the texture that I've got here now of course you can do whatever you want or else I'm doing a on this page I'm doing a very simple only this dandelion um, 
just want to show you the technique uh, how to work it so uh, I'm going to leave it like this I'm waiting for uh, everything to dry before we are uh, before I'm just sewing everything I'll be back I'm back so I started covering my page with gesso and I picked a flat brush and I'm just going all over it and what I wanted to the only thing that I wanted to add for this is that if you have a very delicate uh, texture dilute your uh, gesso so it won't clog all the texture you've got you don't want to lose the texture but if you've got a very pronounced texture it, you can use it as is I'm uh, going inside all the nooks and crannies to get the gesso inside like so and basically I'm just covering everything with gesso nothing to it and then I'm going when it's dry I'm going to put the paint and I'm going to explain about all the options you've got and this uh, technique uh, that I for uh, putting down uh, the metallic paint and uh, <clears throat> making the texture more, more pronounced I've seen in a video by a uh, blackbird studio black beard beard yeah a studio on YouTube and he's he's done it a little bit different than me and I'll explain uh, <clears throat> so this needs to dry putting uh, aside the gesso so uh, this one a uh, first a uh, gold acrylic paint and then a very very diluted uh, black acrylic paint now he's done uh, this um, is done in his video something similar and then he went in also with a uh, turquoise and it was stunning I didn't um, when I tried it, it uh, I didn't like it so much <clears throat> uh, my voice is uh, going away so uh, I'll uh, show you of course how I made it and here is a uh, first bronze all over then I, I, I tried the very very diluted turquoise didn't like it so much it added a little a little bit and uh, it looks like I don't know like patina on the bronze and then I added the black I wanted to do a, a silver but I didn't have a, a silver acrylic paint that would take and uh, it was very uh, I, I've done two coats and it didn't work so I've decided to try something else and I've used this kind of spray so first of all here I sprayed everything with the silver once it was dry I took black and just sprayed well I can't spray it here but I went like this so only this side and like this will get the, the black paint and then I went with turquoise uh, from this side just to uh, make a, a some kind of interest into this so that's the other option now <clears throat> it's still wet and I'll, uh, I'll start by preparing the, the acrylic paints now acrylic paints for this kind of technique needs to be the heavy ones not the ones that are very um, liquidy that's the only <laughs> can't I explain it better uh, and it's misanthropic. I've only got a, a 
local brand so I can't recommend anything and it just uh, I even uh, bought uh, I, this is also a local brand and this is just too watery and it didn't work so as I said it just miss and trial until you get um, a brand that you like and you can work with so uh, this is quite new because I uh, I finished the other ones that I had and for this page I decided that I want like half of it with the bronze and half of it with the gold and it's still wet so I'm I'll be back once it's dry I'm back as you can see I already started to paint just to speed things along and I'm doing this side with the bronze and now I'm going into the yeah, the gold and I'm starting this side with the gold and I'm just getting inside all the crevices and making sure everything is coated just going back and forth uh, until everything is uh, covered Here we go. In some places uh, it seems like I still have wet gesso, but I'll work with it. It does take a while to all this to dry each time you do a phase it takes time but I think it's worth it I've done a, this a technique on a large canvas but uh, as I, because it's on a large, a large canvas I couldn't film it and maybe I'll try and show you what I've done I had uh, I've made a tree on the canvas and it it stood a, a lot of time I didn't know what to do with it until I saw the video that I mentioned by Blackbird Studio and then I done this technique on it and I was so uh, amazed by it so I just needed to keep trying and see what else I can do with this technique So it seems like now everything is covered and I'm going to let this dry. And it does it really needs to be completely dry before we are starting with the black uh, on top and just so you will see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here is the um, canvas that I made uh, you can't see the whole bit I'm not so great with my phone how to change the zoom so uh, most of the tree was made from paper towels that I worked uh, and then I went in with glue gun for all the branches and I also in the background are uh, paper napkins that I've uh, made with a lot of wrinkles and also all, ki all kinds of uh, synthetic meshes that I've just glued to the background to uh, have more texture. So uh, this is it, this is my tree. And that's the same technique used here, only a little bit more heavy on the black paint that is going to come above so I'm uh, waiting for this to dry and then I'll come back I'm back so now uh, for the finishing touch I've got here uh, the quart uh, black uh, acrylic paint a little bit of uh, paint 
lots of water you really need it to be watery and let's mix it more water okay so I I'm using a sponge and I'm a uh, starting like this and now I'm going with the spray bottle and let's move it a little bit and let everything just drip a little bit you want the black to get inside uh, all this texture that we worked on and here is just a you just do it by preferences if you want a lot of dark you want less i here i'm uh, taking a little bit out of it and uh, i'm lifting the paint it, it this is up to you how you want it if you want it more less if you like the sponge like this uh, the marks that it's doing then leave it like this it's up to you how uh, you want it to play lifting and letting it go like this now I don't want a lot of water and I'm a little bit letting it blend I don't want harsh uh, lines I do try to make the edges more uh, darker and here is just working until you're satisfied with what you've got so I've got the edges more pronounced darker than the rest and here I'm just playing and if when I want to remove a little bit I'm just flipping the sponge to the other side and I'm taking a little bit out of it and I can also take a baby wipe and just do like this to lift some of the paint but here I want on my stem so just going in and adding where I want it to be basically now you're just playing and doing whatever you feel like and this is it this is my page I'm removing this and of course if you can uh, add a uh, turquoise again the technique would, uh, is the same thing you just water down really water down the turquoise and then add it to your uh, texture I just like it like this I'm leaving it I'm not doing anything more to this page I hope you liked it and let's see if I can bring it a little bit closer so you will see all the texture here on the page and you are hearing thunder in the background we here are having a little bit of a storm uh, so this is it for now thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now